Okay. Our problem for today. We got a main function and a numbers function. And the numbers function is going to print out a list of 16 numbers and then return the total. And the main function is going to print it. So let's see if we can do this. Oh, 18. 18 random numbers using random rand int. So we're in Python. We need random, so we're going to import random. And what does rand int do? Well, we can do help random rand int. And we'll get some help on it. Returns random integer in range A, B. So in math, this little hard bracket means it's inclusive. So uh, it, it shouldn't be exclusive. So it should include the numbers that we put, like uh, random rand int 1, 2. We'll include both 1 and 2. Uh, so yeah, we want random from 7 to 61. All right, we can do that. It's going to be in numbers. We'll define that in a minute. Let's talk about just doing doing this this list here. We want a list, right? 18 random integers. How do we do something 18 times? Well, we're going to do a for loop for that. For loop is going to be like for some number, some some value, some variable, some variable in a range and that range is 16. Uh, and then we're going to get our value, get value, whatever that is. So something to note here, we don't we don't need this. So like we, we could print that and it's going to be the numbers zero through 15, but we don't need that because we're going to be doing something unrelated to what those numbers are. We just want to use that for for the ability to go through something 16 times. So because of that, we could, and sometimes you'll see it, it's a little funky, but you'll sometimes see for underscore in range do something. And and when that happens, it it means that this this value doesn't matter. You don't actually use it. You just care about going through it 16 times. So what we could do is print random rand int uh, seven, was 761 oh i didn't close the close the thing so that gives us 16 shoot 18 we need i'll change that whatever we want them in a list anyway right so some like the first thought you might have is we're gonna our number list number list is a blank a blank list and then we're going to go through and oh let me get out of that for blank in range 18 number list dot append random rand int uh, 7 through 61 number list so that that gets us our list and that's cool there is a, a little fun little trick to get around this thing where you make this empty thing and then you go through and add to it where you can put it all together at one time and it's called a, a list comprehension and it's a little weird at first it takes some getting used to and I'll show you the structure of it. And you don't have to use it, but it's it can be a little cleaner. So getting used to it, if you if you want to do some fun little things, it's sometimes nice to do some fancy things like this. So you sort of do the same thing here, but you, you move stuff around. So you start at the end, and then you put the beginning at the end. You just flip it around. What you want first, and then what you do second. So it's going to be this is, and we're gonna, this is a list, right? So it's going to be inside the list brackets. And it's gonna be the thing that we ended with, random.randint761. And then what we started with, for blank in range 
18. And that gives us the same thing, right? It's a list, just like that. So in a case where you have a blank something and then you go through a list and add to it, you could do a list comprehension instead where you just make the list and immediately assign it to a variable in one line might be more than you care about for this problem but it's something to consider either way it gets us where we need to be but so now we have our list and now inside this function which we haven't even written yet we'll go back and do that but inside this function we we need it to output like this so how do we do that well, what is this? This is a string of our values separated by spaces, right? So there is, let's call it a space. A space is a string, right? It's a character. So type space. Well, let's try that, right? Type space space it's a string and a string has some what are they called methods attributes if we use our, our favorite dir look at space space has this fun thing called join it's a method that you can use on a on a string um what is this help stir dot join i think will show us so any string, you can do dot join, and you give it something, you give it an iterable, including a list as an iterable, and it will smash them together with what you pass it. So this example should demonstrate it good. You pass a list, A, B, P, Q, R, S, and it will join them with a period. So whatever this value is, is the in-between. That's going to be the glue that holds these pieces together. So if we did comma dot join comprehension, why did this happen? Let me think for a minute. That should work. Let's go back to our help. All right, that should work. That's just how it is. Let's see again comma dot join one two three let me get out of this I think I might have uh, something weird going on in my directory let's try this again comma dot join one two three A, B, C. Okay. Uh, looks like those need to be stringified. Okay. Well, let's do that then. We need to import random again. Learn something new today comma dot join doesn't work for well I guess it's, it's gonna be string uh, space dot join and one two whatever one three that'll join it with a space or one three fifty five joined with a space so that's what we want but that's gonna be a problem if we don't convert those to a string first because the one three five won't work so Let's do that. What was this again? Our list equals, we'll do it with the list comprehension, random.rand 
int, and this is going to give us an integer 7 through 61. It's going to give us an integer, so we want to cast it to a string. It'll just be a string of an integer for blank in range 18. Now our list is going to be a list of numbers, but they're going to be string strings of the numbers. All right. So that should allow this join method to work. So we would just do print space, because that's the character we want to join. We want to glue the, the list together with join and our list is the list that should do it. Okay. Well, that's funny. How do we do this then? We're going to need to get the total back too. Okay. So we're going to need to We're going to need to get this before we cast it. We need this total. This is going to be ugly. I don't like this as much. Our string list equals. Number four. Numbers in number for number in our list, right? So we're just going to stringify. I don't like this. Maybe there's a better way. Need to put in, right? So we have our list is going to be the integers and then our string list is going to be the string version of the same numbers, All right? So we're going to be able to use this to print them joined, and then we'll be able to get the sum of this. To get the sum of our list, we just use the built-in sum function. We can pass it a list of numbers, which is what our list is. So that's what we'll return, OK? I don't think this will work, the sum of our string list. Yeah, because those are strings. That's the problem that we had. We need both of them. So, OK, let's do it. We'll define the function now. Def numbers. What do we want to call it? The, f the first one we need to be the integers. Integers equals random.randint. 18 for doesn't matter in range. Oh, nope, did that wrong. The random is the 761. We want to pick a number between 7 and 61 for any number or any variable in range 18. string integers. So we're going to use that variable. This integers is the is the list that we're going to use here. And this is going to be just just turn it into a string for we can call this anything x string x for x in integers. We can call this as long as we call it the same thing here and here it's it's fine. So num, I guess. OK, so now we have the string. Now we need to print that space joined of string integers. And the last thing we need to do is return the sum of the regular integers. 
Hopefully that works. Now we need to define main. What does main do? The main function calls numbers. And so I'm assuming the main function prints this when it gets it back. So what happens here is that main calls numbers and, well, let me undo that, cancel. It calls numbers, but it also returns something. So what we get back, we need to assign it to numbers because when this, when this comes back, it's going to be assigned to this variable. So we, we don't want to just call it because then we can't do anything with this sum. So we need to put something equals this function when we call it. I'll call it what we get back because I feel like it. Now print f string the total is and then what we get back. And hopefully this works. I don't know. What do you think? Are you hopeful? It looks like it worked. So that's how you do rand int. We learned something today about join. Guess you can't use a a list of strings. But yeah, that should do it. All right. Thanks.